All right, guys. So today we're going to be breaking down this release here on this slant route. We're going to talk about acceleration out of the break and late hands when you're coming over the middle in the red zone. Okay, so let's break this thing down. So off the line of scrimmage here, he kind of gives this slide release, right? This DB is keeping his leverage sliding with him, right? That's the whole goal of this, right? We want to be able to slide, keep the timing with the play. Then I'm trying to push vertical to get this DB in a back pedal, right? Now, here's the thing. He didn't break his ankles on this, right? And it wasn't horrible coverage, but enough coverage down here in the red zone, especially from an offensive perspective. If I get this kind of coverage as a quarterback, I'm hitting this route nine times out of 10 because if I could get space here and I could push up vertical as a receiver and attack this DB and close this gap, get him in a back pedal. When I break this thing off, I know where I'm going. So I'm automatically going to have the advantage. So if I push up vertical, then I make this stick right here and I'm pumping my arms and driving out of this break. You see how we got him to just lean a little bit. If I could get a little bit of weight on that outside because I pushed up vertical, because my head and shoulder fake on that stick got him to the outside, now I could pump my arms and accelerate off this thing, right? And that all came this space, right? It's not like it's a whole lot of space, but especially in the red zone, like I said, we don't need a whole lot of space. Quarterbacks throwing this thing into a tight window. We just got to make sure that I'm able to get a step or maybe even two on this DB. So push vertical, head and shoulder fake to the outside, get him leaning just a little bit. And I pump my arms and accelerate because again, it's a race to this ball. Now, how he finished this play, right, is not by sticking his hands out super early and letting this DB make a play on the ball, right? I'm late with my hands, especially when I'm coming over the middle in any situation. He's late with his hands here, lets this thing go into his body, uses his body as a shield. That's a great job here coming over the middle and finishing this catch, right? This is all the separation that I need right? As long as a quarterback puts this thing on my body and I take care of this thing by having late hands, this DB has no chance of making a play on this ball. Great route by this receiver. Let's watch it full speed. So it gives a slide inside, push vertical, head and shoulder fake, late hands over the middle in the red zone. 